I'm eating a uh, salmon, uh, <laughs> some yams, some rice, some beans. Healthy. Yeah, this is what happens when you uh, when you ball out and party hard on carbohydrates and fuck up your metabolism, and then you can't lose weight. So you got to eat like very specific That's shit. That's good though, dude. It smells delicious. Which reminds me is like you know I was looking at um I was watching um some podcasts some rappers get interviewed and this is an interesting thing this is a phenomenon that's happened probably in the past 10 years is that it became cool to be fat and shirtless right not in our is it still cool no it became Uh, cool in the past 10 years right yeah 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 the money gut Mm -hmm. money gut Mm -hmm. Um, in my era you weren't the shit unless you had a six pack remember yeah we're we're two different we're two, two different generations here we got the old school and we got the new school here, right? So in my era, it was like we were all being sold on fucking Axe Body Spray, Obsession, Calvin Klein, Marky Mark. You got to have some fucking tight chonies and a six pack if you want any action. Yeah. So motherfuckers were just like, I mean, I know you remember just doing crunches. Yeah. People were like, you got to do a thousand crunches a day. Yeah. Like, and it's, it, or you just don't go to the beach or you don't go anywhere. Don't, yeah, you know, don't take your shirt off. People are having a pool party, right? Yeah. Oh. Like, oh, shit, dude, I can't make it. Ah, it's yeah. It's a million <laughs> degrees right. out. Yeah. You know you want to go, but yeah. Swimming with a shirt on? Yeah. 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 Or you're the kid with the shirt on, then you get out and it's stuck to you and you look like a seal. You Real fat mean, boy <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. That shit sticks with you, man. Being I a fucking it. fat kid ain't shit. Man, I, love, I love the fucking muddy gun. That was like my, that was like my, one of my favorite eras. You know what I mean? Cause it was like Gucci man, you know what I mean? Shirtless, chains on, fucking eating steaks, and just like, yeah, I'm eating good. You know what I mean? Yeah, because if you got if you got eighty to four hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry, it doesn't matter what the fuck your body yeah, looks no. like. Yeah, right. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that didn't happen in our time, unfortunately, because right. we right. could have we could have got some fake jewelry, taking yeah. our shirts off, face tat, we would have been with the shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, but, you know, Gucci went to jail and got buff. Yep. And I was like, damn, bro, you just left this hanging? Yeah. <laughs> you, you abandoned your tribe. <laughs> you abandoned oh, your fucking people. Yeah. Oh, shit. Which is, I'm constantly trying to do that. I'm trying to leave it behind me. I'm trying to leave the fat the fat tribe behind, but I can't. I can't shake it. Speaking of, I'm starting a new segment on the show. It's called, What's the Fattest Thing You Did All Week? I'll start. I'm always on a diet. Okay? He says I have body dysmorphia. I say, fuck you, you eight-foot son of a bitch. <laughs> This guy could eat uh, an entire pallet of Taco Bell and nothing happens. Me, I'll end up in the hospital. So my fattest thing, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep coming clean on my show and being honest about the worst things I'm doing to myself in, in the hopes that one day I'll stop. Probably not. The fattest thing I did this week, I'm on a diet, like I said. I have a very specific thing I got to eat. I missed a bunch of sleep. I'm losing my willpower. I was at a meeting. They had donuts. I stayed away from it the whole fucking time. The last minute I had one donut hole, right? And it's like, ping, I have that one donut hole. The fucking, my eyes dilate, the receptors go. It's like that, it's like that collage. It's like that sequence in Requiem for a Dream, right? Bing, 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 bing. Eyes red. Then I'm like, well, fuck, I gotta have another donut hole. Let me have a piece of this little honey bun. And I'm like, okay, I got out of there alive. Then I'm walking past 7-Eleven. Let me dip in 7-Eleven and see what's popping. I got like mixed trail nuts. And I got one of those uh, bullshit healthy cookies with the two guys on the front. Oh, you know that, oh yeah, you know yeah. That guy? Protein you know, cookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pro- I'm like, I'm not doing too bad. And I still felt Pure like I'm- sugar. Right, it's bullshit. <laughs> it's fucking, sugar, yeah. It's straight sugar. And this is at nighttime too, the worst time to eat. And then, I'm, and, and I was walking home from that meeting to get some, like burn some calories and shit because I didn't work out. So then I'm walking home. I get all the way home like I didn't do too bad. Something the devil gets inside me, gets gets inside my body, puts me in my car, and drives me to Del Taco, where I proceeded to have three burritos. Damn. <laughs> hey, it's sugar though. That's Mia all. Culpa. <laughs> huh? That's what it is. It's yeah. just sugar. Or sugar. What Mia kind Culpa. of burritos? <laughs> I do a bean and cheese, extra cheese, extra rice, extra onions, extra red sauce. Extra fat. Nice. Extra fat. Hell yeah. 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 Like a salad. Let me ask them. Have other one of you have have you ever? Because you said you're dieting right now. Yeah. Have you ever done the thing where you just cut sugar completely out of your life? Yeah. I mean all of it, like from chips, crackers, bread, anything that turns into sugar, right? Absolutely. You've done it, right? And you yeah. drop crazy weight, right? I used to. Now you plateau, right? I don't have the same. It doesn't work. Right. I work out. I work out nonstop. Like yeah. I'm strong, but I can't get in shape. Mm. Like I'm. I'm a different shape than I was a year ago, but I still weigh the same. Yeah. Like I'm just, it's just dense. It's I work month. out just to stay chubby. 
But yeah. if I don't work out, no, keep Seriously. it consistent. Yeah. Dude, I was jogging, I was I was running every day, and like people would say, "Damn, dude, you look great." But then that, like you're saying, like it only lasts a certain amount of time. I think certain people. I don't know. Hey, man, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a trainer. I, anything. I don't know how it works. Maybe there's something we don't know. Yeah. We need to read about or find out. Or they're just keeping a secret. They just want to keep <laughs> some of us fat. I don't know. Yeah. But like, there's got to be something because like, it's same a thing. conspiracy. Yeah. yeah, it's a conspiracy. No, you gotta, you gotta continually work yeah. out. That's it. Like, yeah. You know. But that's what I said. Like, I, I, I exercise to stay chubby because it's like I'll get to a point where I feel great. But then here's the other thing. You know how you said you had, you had that donut hole and then you went and had some honey but whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, yeah. once you get that little bit. One bit in you, yeah. yeah. Relapse. Oh, it's like it's yeah, like relapse. <laughs> relapse. Dude. It is yeah. so. It really because they yeah. say sugar is more addictive than anything, like any drug. Really, it's got one it is too much, a million is never enough. Yeah, Same dude. shit. Yeah, it's like crack. Um. Okay, so let's come. What's the fattest thing you guys did this week? Fattest thing I woke up. The fattest <laughs> thing I did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I woke up. Um, let me think. Oh. All right, so I've been trying to eat like because I do, I go through phases, right? Like I'll you know I'll eat salmon, chicken breast, and I'll do like meal prep if I can make yep. the time. If I can make the time to meal prep, I'll be good. As long as I always have fruit and I always have vegetables and I have something already ready, I will not slip. But when I don't do that, it's bad. But that so, fruit is Babylon too, man. That shit that shit fucks you. You think you think you're good? Yeah. I'll sit down and be like, fruit's fine, but then I eat a whole fucking party tray of watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> Without even thinking, you know. It's yeah. crazy. No, no, I'll do that too. And I, yeah, all that stuff. But yeah, back to your original question, like the fattest yeah. thing, like, okay, so I was at a barbecue yeah, su uh, <laughs> on Sunday. And, uh, you know, like I, I, in your mind, you're like, okay, I'm just gonna eat some brisket. I'll eat one rib. Mm -hmm. And that's just protein. So I'm doing all right. Mm -hmm. But then there's potato salad and you're like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll have a little bit of that. And then you have a little bit, but then just like you said, it opens the door, right? Mm -hmm. And at the end, my buddy, like he, he makes all this crazy stuff. Like he tries to like, I don't know if you would call it gourmet or just, I don't, I don't know what it is, but he goes all out. So he made these homemade like uh, cookies, ice cream sandwiches dipped in salted chocolate. And I'm looking at it and this okay. thing's like, it's big dude, it's like a baseball mitt. And he's, he's like, here I made you cause I told him I don't eat uh, dairy doesn't matter if it's made with lactate or whatever it's lactose free it's still fat right yeah. so he just hands it to me this giant thing and i'm like damn i'm looking at it i was like all right in my mind i'm like i want to take a bite nah dude i ate the whole yeah. thing it was melting all over my hand i'm looking yeah. at it. there's one little piece of chocolate with salt i hate salt and there's a chunk of salt in that you're going too like i ate yeah. it you know what i mean yeah. so that i would say like that and then the what's today today's wednesday right i know i did some <laughs> fat shit on monday i know i did but what was it Go ahead, and then I'm gonna yeah. try to remember because I know I know there was something I felt kind of like, damn, you're stupid. I feel like I've been doing like fat shit every day. So. <laughs> <laughs> just you know, just part of the life as a fat person. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, one thing is just like I kind of eat while I'm cooking, and I oh, cook yeah. a lot. Oh you know hell what I mean? yeah! So yeah. it's like the other day I was at um, was it I was at Albertsons in a self checkout line getting all my greens, whatever, and this dude was taking forever, like you know what I mean, <laughs> just to get to the self checkout. And it was like, it was pissing me off, you know, because he's, like, he's holding me up. The lady has to come help him with the groceries, whatever. He stands there and he has a long receipt and he's like reading every single item and checking it. So I'm just like, you know what, whatever, fuck this. Walking out, I just walk out and they have this huge tub. They have like the worst snacks right at the exit of the self checkout, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? The fucking cheese balls yeah. and all that shit. So I just went and grabbed the fucking uh, peanut butter filled pretzels. You know, they're so, so good, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any brand, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Walmart brand, any brand is good. They hit yeah. all the notes. Yeah, yeah so yeah. I've just been smacking those. And I was just like, ever since I racked out, I'm just like, just have them with me. And I'm just like, boom, yeah. just popping them. Yeah. You know? See, you're still young, man. You're young. It still makes you like, you still kind of brolic looking, but man, you're going to hit a point where it's like, it ain't going to work. You're oh, yeah. Like, Fuck. You know what I mean? I lift weights, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm, I'm doing something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, definitely. I got to hit the, uh, the Gucci six pack. I like that style of strong man who's just like, you could tell they eat whatever the fuck they want, but they're also brawlic at the same time. Like the bear dudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like them dudes that pull semis in competitions. Yeah, yeah. Or pick up stones, you know? Yeah. yeah. I like that kind of, I like that look. Although I just, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's an uphill battle constantly, but fuck it. You know, you just got to work hard to stay chubby, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> if yeah. I don't, I'm going. I'm going. I'm gonna oh, dude! If I let it go, 100. Yeah, it's all bad, bro. It's, it's, it's on. Like I was, 
I hit I hit my, my a milestone a few years ago. Like I went completely insane. Oh, like, worse or good? No, just just like I blew up so big. No, I think I've told this story like eight times in the show. I, I might hear, as well tell I it again. I had um, I had our, I had our dance right, and I wanted to get a Versace shirt, which there's no Versace shirt in my size. So I went downtown to find a knockoff Versace, and I had and I basically had to sew two shirts together. And I had to get a green. I got a green suit custom, and I'll, the, I don't. Even, I'm not even going to give you the. The picture is crazy because I'm in a photo. I'm standing next to like Sponto and YG and a few other people, and I look like a cartoon supervillain. <laughs> I look like like Big Pun, like that <laughs> one. Like, but, no. and Big Pun was tall, like monstrous, like, like just Ralph like, Bakshi type, <laughs> like dude. And I and I see it. I'm like, damn, man. Like I was I was a walking heart attack. No way. You know. And um, yeah, man. It's it can get bad, and I just. I just lose track of things and I'm just in the zone. I get in my zone. I'm like, fuck it, man. Let's go. One more day. One more. I'm going to die tomorrow. I'm going to die tomorrow, you know. But I'm like that with everything, man. It's the same. That's why I don't do graffiti anymore because if I pick it up, I'm fucking, you know, like I, every once in a while I get the urge. I'm driving around. I'm like, oh, graffiti's almost fucking legal right now. I can get away Dude, with it. Dude, it is. It's weird, right? right? Like, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I can get a, th- let me put a throw up over with these fucking like, it's like a it's like a crazy toy gallery on the fucking one ten. Like, <laughs> everyone who ever wanted to do graffiti is out there just painting like mm-hmm. spazzo. It's like what the fuck? You know, it's like it's like speak and spell letters everywhere. It's yeah. like what the fuck? I'm like, let me come out here and like do a throw up and like stamp somebody just for fun. <laughs> but once it once I start, I, I got I got work. I can't be out. It's also yeah. like, you know, you know more about. I mean, you're you're not active. Not like that. Not, not like, like that. that. I mean, I still paint a lot, still but paint. not like not. We can say your name, right? What's that? We can say your name, your hand, your nom de plume. Yeah. Yeah, this is Axis, Axis. from CBS. Yeah. You guys all know Polo Cuddy, a.k.a. Sita. Um, Axis and I go way back. We, uh, we're from, uh, at one time, Rival Crews back in the day. Can I acknowledge that? Yeah, no, let's that's acknowledge yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Let's acknowledge it. Yeah, do it. Um, so we got a lot of history, and um, I was talking to Doom today, and uh, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna have access on the show." And he's like, and I was like telling him, I was like, "You know, we used to, we used to be the crews used to beef, but <clears throat> you and I would never beef. Never. We was I would see you in Venice, and we just be, and we would be talking about like." Same shit, different shit, like trying to fucking, you know, oh, I'm trying to quit drinking. I'm trying to fucking work out. Like, Yeah. And that was like 20-something years oh, ago. Oh, hell yeah. And we always had a good rapport. It was, it's funny like that. Like, certain factions would be beefing, and we're like, come on, man. I don't want to deal with this shit. Yeah. Like, what are we? It's Dude, I never got into it for any of that stuff. You never I, got into it. You never got pulled into I, it. Well that, well, that, what I mean is like, the whole point, the whole reason I got into graffiti in the first place was it was exciting. There was no rules. There was no like same thing with skateboarding, right? Yeah. No politics, none of that shit. And then eventually, all that stuff slowly creeps in. And then yeah. the next thing you know, you're part of something. It's like I he- I heard something once. Like it was like a I'm gonna sound like such a dork here, but it was like a Star Wars reference, right? It was like you think your whole the whole time you're 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 working for the rebels, yeah. But you find <laughs> out you're a stormtrooper type shit, yeah. And that's how I kind of felt at one point with a lot of things in life because it's like wait. Why, why, why does it have to be like, why do we have to do this? What, like the whole point is to just be free and like we're right. expressing ourselves. And pretty much a lot of us, right? I mean, I think we, we found our voices as artists yeah. through graffiti. It was kind of yeah. like a weird kind of like catalyst to like, like we were already doing art and we got into it. The next thing you know, it was like all this like weird stuff going on. Like I never, ever at any point like felt like, you know, cool. Like this is cool. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like it was weird, right? I mean, it was always like, well, it was like it goes so far back yeah. because there was just a rivalry. I don't even remember what really kicked it off. I it was really, always something. With, I remember like Skate got in a fight with someone on our side. Like maybe it was Self and somebody else. You know, because Skate was such a big dude. Yeah. And then like, and then Crook. I, mean, I think it was Crook. I don't know, but someone took a like shot shot at not i don't think they shot at him but like shot near shot near someone at motor to like fuck with them while they're painting I heard that. yeah I heard yeah like the, all this it was like it was never like and then oh this is the best part all that shit was going on and then at one point we were both both crews were in san francisco and we all decided to just team up for a night 
And we all went out <laughs> drinking. Like, what the fuck? Like, it was like, is it on site? Is it not on site? Are we beefing? Do we hate each other? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Then we all just, I remember that night because we're all partying. We all got drunk. We're kids, man. Yeah, yeah. And we all got drunk. And I literally remember this was fucking hilarious. Mirrors, we're all, and we're all trying to like out fucking graffiti each other. We're tagging, we're drunk, we're tagging on the street, running around. And Mirror got caught tagging. Oh, shit. Was getting chased. And I watched this person run. And I swear to God, he jumped over the hood of a car, but he put both his legs in front of him like this. <laughs> <laughs> he vaulted over a car, but like this, like, his, like feet forward. Yeah. And I, I was just laughing. I was like, what the, like just dying, you know? Yeah. Um, like some bunny shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, he's just like, oh, you're secretly like a, 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 a not human or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I got you. Anyways, yeah, it was it was a uh, you know a different time, right? Different time in LA, um, you know, a, a different and, and also you were you were also like you were you, you're you're are you still in CBS? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm K two S too. You're K two S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, you're a part of another group. Uh, Lord, Lords from the Bay too. Lords and yeah. another non graffiti group. Yeah. Which one was that? Oh, my band. No, we were talking about at the meeting. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 part, yeah lads, lads. So you're part of lads. Yeah. So do you know what lads is? No. Nah. Okay. See, this is this is great because it's generational shit. Right? But I'm like later, like that, yeah. you know that that shit started in 1980. Right. So I'm like later by like I told you, like you know we hung out, we go to shows yeah. and stuff like that. On some like, punk rock. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That so, kind of okay, this might be a novel thing for you to understand. Back in the day, in the 90s, there were like 74 white gangs, right? Like punk because the LA was so gang related that everybody was gang banging on some level. <laughs> fucking, there was white punk gangs, there was fucking Filipino gangs. There's, I mean, I'm sure there are in Long Beach, Cambodian gangs. Like every nationality had a fucking gang, yeah. and there were a lot of fucking punk gangs. Yeah. And it wasn't just white dudes, but no. primarily, yeah, yeah. right? It was like suicidal lads, sacred, sacred Reich, beer nuts, FFF, FFF, FFF in the oh, yeah. valley. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking with the names, beer nuts, BPO, beer nuts. BPO. <laughs> BPO, yeah. <laughs> BPO in the valley wasn't uh, Everlast from BPO. Am I, is that wrong? I, ah, he might have been. Might have been from BPO. Um, yeah, BPO. Uh, I mean, it was it was it was a whole thing. Yeah. And you were from the the Los Angeles Death Squad. Right. Right. But again, like I said, later. Later. Yeah. Like, you know, I get like, it. I, I get it. like. Yeah, going to shows and like getting shanked and shanking people. Yeah. None of that, dude. Yeah. Like, I, you know, I mean, it, get, it got hairy for a minute, and all those dudes are still, you know, but they're, they're all cool now. Yeah, I mean, everybody. I mean, dude, you got to think about it. those guys are like what? Some of them are gonna be sixty soon. Yeah, you know, so yeah. it's old like, ass punkers. Damn, uh, old. they're all like plumbers and shit now. They're all fucking yeah. working for the city. And like, yeah, a yeah. lot of yeah. Dudes, yeah. Like, yeah. what's the shit y'all be, would beef about? You know what I mean? Like, haircuts, mostly beef about yeah. haircuts. <laughs> Who smokes the most weed? <laughs> Who has the best Liberty Spikes dogs? Yeah, yeah. The beefing over denim jackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, man, I can see that shit. I got some grease. When you're yeah, a jet. Yeah. <laughs> when you're a lad, you're a lad all the way. <laughs> <laughs> they tie their arms together. Like, oh, I mean, it was like the, it was like a, uh, you know, it was, it was the evolution of uh, of greaser gangs. So a lot, you know, a lot of people don't know too that originally in LA, the gangs were white people were gang members first, and black gangs and Latino gangs started to stop white people from gang banging on them. Oh shit! Yeah, like I I, 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 yeah, like yeah. there were white white greaser gangs were going into fucking Compton and beating kids up. And they're what? Like, well, I was telling someone really the other day, I was like, I fuck with the way like uh, white gangs would like present themselves. You know what I mean? Because they'd have like cardigans on. With their like, yeah. little like patch on the, on oh, the side shit. and shit like that, I'm like y'all look hella proper, you know? <laughs> little comb over, you know? Like all, all that them shit. dudes in Chicago, yeah, yeah, they still run that. Mm -hmm. no little way. gang cards and like the cardigan. Yeah. No way, dude. Those fools are crazy. Um, yeah, man, it's a trip. This whole, this whole, all this uh, homemade like, like all this shit. We all we all made it up. Like no one, like all this shit came from the street. Like most, of, like you know. The cult, some of the culture of skateboarding, graffiti, obviously, is completely generated from the street. Yeah. Gang banging, obviously. Like, and it's like, you know, like you said, you get in a crew and it's like, you think it's about being a rebel, but all of a sudden you're like, you have meetings to go to and you missed a meeting. They're like, where the fuck's, yeah. where the fuck is Axis at? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, oh, he's in trouble. You got to yeah, get in yeah. trouble. <laughs> hey, dude, I remember people getting put on probation. I yeah, remember, you get on probation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're slipping, dude. Like, and it's so crazy because we're like, wait, we all started ditching school together. We we're all, you know what I mean? Like, we we're all doing shit like that. And then the next thing you know, you're, 
you're getting, you know, reprimanded again. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. It's like, the organization? Like, yeah, yeah, dude. Like, you're in detention. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. It's pretty crazy. It's wild how all that went, too. Like, What about your generation? You guys operate like that when you have meetings? Um, I do, but I'm also kind of like looking at like older, you know what I mean? Groups of people. Like, I've seen like how like other uh, crews have meetings. You know, like they used to have meetings right there at a, you know, a trailer shop. And I see fools like put their phones in like, baskets oh, yeah. you know what i mean and, and go in there and i'm just like yo that's crazy you yeah. know what i mean because like my other crews we were like we just go to the park and get drunk you know yeah. so um i think maybe the younger generation doesn't do shit like you know like probation and stuff like that but like i see i've seen like the other side of it so i kind of try to incorporate it just because yeah. it looks organized like you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. It's kind of like i mean we were giving out fucking homework assignments to each other no like yo Yo, GK, you need to take care of this this area of the one tens or whatever. You need to go hit every fucking heaven. You'd be like, all right. And like, some of the young kids were psycho. Dude, I have some <laughs> crazy photos from back then. I didn't even own a camera. I don't know where I got them, mm. but I have files. Really good files. ones. Yeah. Really yeah. good ones. Yeah. Yeah. And then people would get like, like I remember at one point someone brought, busted out a map and like mapped out sections. <laughs> That's crazy. Like you two are going here like. <laughs> Like it got very tactical. Oh, dude, I remember coming to meetings and have like people would have to bring a photo, and and you got to think about how long ago. So you didn't have a cell phone with a camera. On yeah, it. No. you had to go get a disposable, or someone had to have a camera. Either bring me pictures of your last five. Pe what did you do? Five pieces in the last couple of weeks, or something like that. You yeah, know what I mean, or you know, like we said, you got put on probation. Like this is crazy. Dude. I saw um, Eclipse post a picture. I think it was it was a while ago though, but it was like a. Like a composition book and i think it had like everyone's like name and phone number mm -hmm. like from their crew and yep. i was just like that's crazy i'm like i'm pretty sure like this fool's on our crew like we're like in the same dm together you know what i mean and like that's yeah. it we got, we got a dm and it's like we still don't even have each other's like phone numbers and we don't even know each other's like government name you know yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We, had, we had everyone's number we knew where everyone lived and the the best thing about those days too the the, the thing that would always happen in our era is when we were still in high school is that you would get a hold of some other fool's number. Oh, dude. And call their house. That was a classic it's thing. Always calling, happened. dude. Oh, hell Because yeah. you'd be like, oh, you know, you call some dude from, I got fucking, dude, oh, I got fucking Vile's number. I got fucking, you know, I got so-and-so's number. I'm going to fucking call. And they call their house and get past their parents. Just burn them. Just burn yeah, them. burn yeah, their shit like, up. Yeah, dude. And, like, and it would cause them, it was beef. Yeah. Um, dude, I remember a lot of people, that was their whole thing. Like, there really was. Like, <laughs> like no, I'm serious. I thought oh, that shit was crazy, dude. It, yeah, it's weird how much of that part is gone, but it's still there, right? Like you can still do stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's different, like because this is even think about it. This is even before like uh, what was it? What was it called, bro? Like where it had the little bot it tell you the number, like call not uh, caller ID. Oh yeah, oh, remember yeah. before this was even before call. Yeah. I mean, I remember when call waiting was like new. Yeah, yeah. So it's like if you call somebody, no, yeah, you know ancient. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. like. But you could call somebody and they would never we know where you call from. You can call from a, a gas station payphone and they yep. would never be able to find out. Hell yeah. Yeah, so now weird. everything's on, yeah. on fucking. So it's your name and your location? Like, yeah, what city dude. Yeah. yeah. You don't even have, have this shit registered. Like, you know, shit's crazy. Yeah. It's... And now in your, with your era, it's like everyone's on Front Street constantly. Shh, it's bro. all out there, right? Yeah, it's all on social media. Fools are going live, doing everything. Going live. Yeah, yeah, you know, and then it's like marking people out on camera too. Like, that's another thing. Oh. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, yeah, we're, you're going to go viral for being, you know, a bitch. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> just capping people live yeah, yeah. on live. There's like, there's like a couple people I'm not going to burn them out because, I mean, they've already had to go through the fucking internet fucking ring, you know, and, uh, but, uh, a couple people were out there just capping people on live. Well, or, no, like, or just getting like, capped. Just getting like, just like marked out on camera. You right. know what I mean? It's like, it's a, it's a whole different level, man. It like, sucks. <laughs> like when we were kids, you know, again, it sound like fucking, you know, back in my day, but I but mean, like, you know, you would just hear a story about someone. Now yeah. it's like there's vis there's physical proof. fucking video yeah. proof. Yeah. Like it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, you someone fucking got caught slipping. It's on camera most likely. Someone's got it. And yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, it's a different era too. Like I, I look at it too as like, you know, with graffiti let's just say i wouldn't say graffiti is legal but i'd say that they're very lenient towards graffiti because you got 
the whole city is like wide open, right? You got yeah. motherfuckers walking down the street covered in shit with machetes. Like, <laughs> the graffiti, like they don't, they don't have time to deal. They aren't dealing with that. They're not dealing with graffiti. Yeah, yeah. Like you shoot someone, you're out in like two days. Like it's wild. Right? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. But I feel like at some point they're gonna tighten it up. And they're probably building the case. Like they're probably like, oh, okay, so and so is showing his ass on fucking yeah, social media. For sure. Let's just set this up, and then one day you're gonna get that fucking five a.m. <laughs> knock, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's like so many other criminals get caught online, right? And it's yeah. just like, yeah, they're posting their crimes online. We haven't recorded. Yeah. So like, what makes you think that you're any special? Like, you mean that you're any different? And you're out here causing like thousands of dollars of damage. You know what Dude, I mean? Dude, I, I think of that too. Like sometimes some of the stuff I'll see on there, and I'm thinking to myself, all right. You, five thousand people liked your video or your picture, but look what you just put up there for yeah. the world to see. Like, maybe it won't catch up with you today, but if somebody wanted to, they'd be like, "Hey, it's right here." Like, yeah, I saw that. Like, that's crazy, dude. I might not even be the police. I might just be a hater. You know what I mean? Like, Anything, yeah. You know? it's just, it's just, yeah, <laughs> but they want the same thing that we wanted, and that was fucking what we called fame. fame. It's called clout. Yeah. Same shit. It's just another way to get it, right? Like, yeah. you know, like I, if you think about, like, I always talk to people, writers, and I'm like. Try to think about like try to cycle on others. Why do you why did you actually do graffiti? Not like oh I'm fucking you know street art, but like why did you do it? Like I did it because I was a fucked up little kid, yeah. and I wanted to be a part of something, and I wanted people to respect me on some level because I felt like I don't know maybe I felt like I wasn't shit. I don't know what it was. I couldn't make sense of it. Maybe in my old age I look back and I'm like okay that's some wild shit, right? Because I felt justified in destroying anything in my path, so a bunch of other dudes would know that I was there. So, you know, and I'm always I'm always wondering like, what's it really about? Because it's a very specific type of person that becomes a writer, you know, and it's a, and, and, and you see the same personality from generation to generation to generation. It's the same fucking type of shit. Yeah, that's true. You know? yeah. Well, I think like, yeah, you know, all the best writers are, are sociopaths. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. Complete fucking psychos. Yeah. You know, and this is like, yeah, every, every, every person I know that's like a killer, like, you know what I mean? This is like, yeah, you're fucking, you're not a good person. Yeah. You know? You're not a good person, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, is there room to be a good person and be a graffiti writer at the same time? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, no, hell no. I mean, you know what I mean? You're, <laughs> you're fucking up people's shit. You you're know? fucking up people's shit. Yeah, yeah, when you think about it, like, outside of the sense of, like, I want to get up and, like, pull myself up. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, damn, this is, like, some old lady's business. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. But, you don't connect to it. Like, I, I you know, I, when I got sober this last time, I remember talking to um, talking to Doom and like I pulled up to a meeting and I like there was like chalk on the ground. I caught a tag with the chalk and he's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, I'm, "It's fucking chalk," and he's like, you, "You're writing on the on thing." And I'm like, and I it never dawned on me that there was anything wrong with me catching a tag anywhere as long as I get away with it. Yeah, and it's still hard for me to wrap my head around that. Like I have to just purposely not do it because. I still will get caught up in doing it, but like it is fucked up, right? You're basically like it's not the worst crime in the world. Like we're not fucking breaking people's legs, but yeah, we are te tearing up someone's it's property. Fun, though. Yeah. It is hella fun, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, yeah. and it's addictive. That's the other thing. Yeah, it's very addictive. Like I'm still to this day uh, old as shit, and I'm still constantly catching tags in the house. It's like weird, right? We're just sitting there, like there's dust or something, <laughs> sawdust. Or like, I can't <laughs> stop. Yeah. I can't stop fucking writing yeah. it, and I'm still, and I'm still just like I could get a little bit better. I could do, a, I could get a little bit better. Throw up, do, you know. Like I'm still not as good as fucking, you know, MQ or Revoker, those guys. You know, I'll never be there. So, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll just keep trying, you know, because like as as good as someone else might think I am, I'm like I'm a toy compared to these guys. <laughs> yeah. You know, like how people that would like um, bring paper out and they're like, oh, you guys are coming over. Yeah, like here, like yeah. This is where you can tag all shit. Like yeah. they're not gonna tag all over my house, you know. <laughs> Did you have you? Hey, oh, you okay? Every writer's first apartment, my first apartment, oh, yeah, fucking dude. destroyed. Yeah, like I and I don't know what the fuck it is about. Why, why I don't know why the fuck you would do that. But like in the bedroom, I painted a wall. There was tags. It was like a fucking. My place was like a. I had a place. You never came by that place in Venice, did you? It's, I lived under, um, you know, Bagel. You know yeah, I, I, yeah, I figured yeah, you yeah, would. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I lived under Bagel okay. um, on Pacific, and it was like, you know, I was seventeen. I had my own place. I was supposed to be going to high school. I wasn't going to high school, and it was like everyone come over on a Friday night, drink forties, have a meeting, and then just spill out of the house, wasted, <laughs> and just bomb. 
like you could see that you could see that it came out of my house. It was just like radiating yeah, right. around. Yeah. They wouldn't even go down the street. Just fucking burnt the whole shit. <laughs> Do that all the time. The house is bombed. Every fucking surface covering graffiti and like that to me seemed like. It made sense. Now I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't paint yeah. my house. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. But you, I never you, saw you. <laughs> did you have? Did you have one of those cribs? As, oh yeah, yeah. You I, had one of the fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in the tenderloin, so it was like already fucked oh, up. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it was like you might as well. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. It. yeah. It was like someone like shitting on my freaking yeah. front door. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that was rough. Yeah, <laughs> but it was fun. You know, how what long mean? were you in the tenderloin for? About a year. No, oh really? Yeah. Then I went to Oakland after. What were you doing? Um, I was going to school. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you go to school for? I went to school for advertising. No shit. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's hard. That's, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's the one thing writers miss. Yeah. Because we're in the bit. We're advertising. We're branding. Basically. And everyone's you know? like, everyone's like, I'm gonna go to school for. I'm gonna be a tattooer. I'm gonna learn this. Like advertising is a fucking move. Yeah. When you look at it, it's like a lot of these like advertisements just show up in places where people were painting. You know what I mean? Mm. It's just like, all right, y'all tagging on the bus. We'll just put an ad there. Mm -hmm. You know, fuck it. <laughs> they're trying to get that. They're trying to get the same, uh, catch that same ride, get that fame. Yeah. <laughs> That's a trip. Also, I was thinking about this. Did you get married recently? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Congrats. <laughs> and you, uh, where did you get married at? Nigeria. In Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I remember you pulled up to to Sadie's in like the kit, and I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, this fool's this fool's really African. Yeah, <laughs> how was that? How's Nigeria? Oh man, it was dope. It was fun. Um, we're out there. I go there like at least. I try. Or I guess try to go there like at least once, like once a year. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? In December, because that's like when it's popping. Like everyone's back from the holidays and shit like that. But it's a uh, you know like tropical. You know what I mean? Like humid heat, whatever. Um, there's a cool like art scene out there too. Uh, their trip on graffiti though. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, I, I, I they're hella against it. I've tried painting out there a couple of times. And I got spots and shit, but uh, <laughs> you got spots in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But this dude, like, I, I had full trip on like me. Had trip on full trip on the homie because the homies came out there for the wedding and they were fucking bombing in some gutter. Oh shit. And this dude pulled up with like military fools and was just like, "Yo, what are y'all doing?" You know what I mean? Because they're like photo shooting in front of the bombs, you know? Right, right. So they're just like, oh, you're going to take a bunch of pictures and go back to your country and just show show how shitty we are. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You shit, just dude. shit on our country. So, yeah. Like our know? infrastructure's all fucked up and you're going to come over here and bomb on it? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Fuck. <laughs> Were you born in Nigeria? No, nah, I was born in a, in a valley in Van Nuys. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, and then how the, so, but you're, you're obviously your family from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, my family's yeah. from Nigeria. My dad's still out there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So like, my my family's big out there. Freaking. Um, What's the dialect over there? It's um Yoruba. There's Yoruba, Igbo. The uh -huh. main language is uh English because we was a colony, right? You know? Right. But uh, yeah, so you can get away with that. And then uh, there's like this this hell of dialects, but like Yoruba, Igbo, uh, Hausa, I think you know they're all broken up about the queen, huh? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> they actually were. Some of them, some people were like, yeah, I, yeah. A, I had a I have a, like a family chat you know yeah. me, for like my family out there, and some of them were just like, yo, I can't believe you know she died. With the <laughs> womb. And I was like, man, the only queen I recognize is my grandma. Yeah, you know, exactly. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know about none of that shit, you know. Yeah, but um, yeah, they you know what I mean. It's a uh, in a colonized mindset, bro. Like, yeah. if you go out there and you see the lawyers, they're rocking like white powdered ri wigs and shit no. like that. Oh, yeah, like no. old school fucking eighteen hundreds fucking, you know, damn fucking that's crazy. white powdered makeup shit. They don't really? do the white powdered makeup, no, but they wear, the but they rock the white powdered wigs, like you know. And they got they got Christianity over there too, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, Christianity and uh, Islam main oh, main okay. religions. The battle, yeah. the the fucking titans of religion. Yeah, yeah, there was like a huge like a, a like a civil like. Like religious war at one point, like food like going at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. And what do you do? You cook Nigerian food? I I've cooked it before. You know what, what I mean? I'm not Nigerian that good. Food is good. Yeah, yeah, I never had it. What is it? It's it's like so they'll take like starch. You know what I mean? Like cassava, yams, or whatever. Yeah. Pound it to a little powder, boil it, and you're like pounding the shit. It's it's like sticking. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, fucking um, and then you got a soup which is like. Okra, bell peppers, tomatoes, pep, you know what I mean? Like, it's spicy. It's hella good. There's a spot right here in Inglewood, uh, Veronica's. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You should check it out. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, yeah. You remember, you remember that crew, KIO? You there? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. KIO? yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So one of my early, uh, I, I, 
right like one of the first writers i ever i mean i'm talking fifth grade yeah this dude like this dude it was zach from kil okay and this is way before dude but like kicking it live kicking it live yeah he was nigerian oh, and uh it, but he was he was one of the first dudes that i remember we had a spray can he had a birthday party and like i don't know some older kids were break dancing they had a they had, this is i can't remember the year they had a, a refrigerator box like the cardboard yeah and they were doing backspin. And neither one of us could dance. We were like, fight. That, that's yeah. kind of how we both kind of, I almost want to say that's how we went the direction of graffiti because like I tried to kick more than once and I was like, yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not going to happen, dude. Like, it's just not, my body doesn't do that. And he couldn't do it. So he, he had this can. I remember he wrote something on the wall, on the cardboard, another piece of cardboard. He wrote like ice or something like that and did yeah. a little, little star, you know? And I was like, oh shit. And then we, you know, we kind of mess around and then, Later, he's Zach from KL, but he they had a, a restaurant, his family. Yeah, uh, right. and we would go there once in a while. It was on, uh, it was kind of by uh, Little Ethiopia, okay. like that, uh, uh, Fairfax, like yeah, by yeah. Olympic around that area. But uh, yeah, it was good, bro. Like I remember that. But he he was Nigerian, and he was he was like, I'm not sure if he was born there, but I just remember like I, I remember him like bringing stuff to school. You know, I mean, yeah, like yeah, from like the food? restaurant. Yeah, it was oh, good. No way. Oh, yeah, like I, I, I might be wrong, but if I'm not yeah. mistaken, there was something like fish balls or something like that. Yeah, okay, like, yeah. Right? Uh -huh. you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And then, like you said, like pounding the. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember that's my something. favorite personal. Like, right? you know what I mean? The it was rice good. is good. Too. It was good, dude. Yeah. I'm going to check that out. <laughs> it was like a pork ball, like in ramen, but it was fish or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. It was a long time ago. Dude. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Have, you, uh, have you heard of KL before? No. That's crazy, because uh, KL is a, a mostly a black crew, right? Yeah, yeah. There was, Except there was... for Rel and Excel, right? Yeah. Right. And then and where the, were they based out of? Like uh, that area, like uh, kind of like that area. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, fine. Yeah, that's a trip because like it was back then it too. It was like I mean, still I think by and large, the like I would say half of writers are white at least. Oh yeah, for right? sure. Like graffiti is a white sport, mm -hmm. and I think and I think about that, and I think it's because in the 90s and the 80s when shit was popping off it was like white white kids weren't getting in gangs but yeah. they were doing graffiti and like the kids that were fucked up were doing graffiti they weren't pulled into gangs and all the black mexican kids got pulled into yeah, gangs. yeah, 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 yeah. you know all the folks from the hood now yeah yeah <laughs> yeah fuck damn fucking yeah. kal there was, was dope. i don't remember know if you're, twc remember together we chill uh, that was I, a badass they were kind of in a weird way kind of clicked up uh like i, like I remember the name, but i don't know much that. about them okay like yeah. yeah there was a bunch of dudes that were in both did you ever we were ever privy to another thing in the nineties was there was um there was this thing of like party crew but dance crews, but they were going to clubs, but they were strapped. <laughs> so and, I missed out on that, but yeah. I do remember hearing about Yeah, there's one so. called uh the Nuthouse Nubians. Oh, yeah. Damn. And um I feel like there's another one. It's like take you party hella serious. Yeah, it was like, yeah, they yeah. party, they'd be <laughs> yeah, dancing yeah. and like Doing and like really good dancers, and yeah. shit, but then a fucking strap would fall on the floor. No, dude, because like, really? they were they were living in neighborhoods. Yeah, and like, yeah. Because everything was just you know like after a while the gang started clamping down on any, everything. Like after tag banging happened, yeah, they're yeah. like fuck that because it got crazy. Like, yeah, you remember yeah. that era yeah, too? Like yeah. Hell yeah. there'd be like I don't know. 47 fucking 15 year olds with with 12 22s between them coming in your yard yeah, you're dude. like and you're like oh, oh. <laughs> if we don't know how to deal with this they're yeah. all toys yeah, yeah. they diss yeah. everything inside yeah. and they'll, 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 they'll light you up yeah, yeah. They'll yeah. Shoot you, dude. They yeah. Really that's, <laughs> that's like the worst wow. that's like la's like worst problem and i feel like that's like i mean other cities also you know what i mean also they don't have that like that gang you know gang banger type rider but I feel like in LA, it's like hella peddling where it's like, yeah, I suck at graffiti, but I'll shoot you if you did. But I'll shoot yeah. you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 You're breaking the rule. Like, that's, you're breaking the rules of this game. You're, yeah. you're bringing in another game, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, our rules are pretty, like, it's rare that people get shot in graffiti. It happens once in a blue moon, but don't yeah. bring it. Like, we, if we wanted to play that game, we would have played that game. That's yeah. not fair. Yeah. It's because you're a toy. Yeah. The reason I'm painting is because I don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to do that. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying not to do that. It's like, fuck, goddamn, you're yeah. cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. oh shit yeah man it's it's a trip man i don't know i still i still uh it's like you know once you once you become a writer uh it i had no idea how much it would affect the rest of my life i thought it was like something i'm gonna do as a kid i still think about that too man yeah and it's fucking everything you do is is i'm still known as two-tone i never told people to call me two-tone it's yeah. followed me since i was a little and kid. it's gonna stay and it's i'm done I'm yeah. Cooked. yeah so like fuck it i embrace it now but yeah. like, 
I always thought, like, I'm going to be a writer, and then, like, one day I'm going to have a fucking briefcase and a golden retriever and be like, hey, honey, I'm home. Hey, apple pie tonight? Like, I just thought that was going to happen to me one day. You know, yeah. I thought, like, I thought it was just, well, I thought, literally thought in my mind as a child, like, at 15, I was like, one day I'm just going to become a lawyer. <laughs> or, like, one day I'm just going to be a fucking doctor. Like, yeah, yeah. Not, not really a lawyer, but I was like, yeah, one day yeah, I'm just yeah, going to yeah. be in business. I'm going to have a suit, you know, and, like, I'm still a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. So, it's just um, crazy because, like, you know, I'm like, I went out to Nigeria, got married, but I was like, about all the homies that paint, and then like they're just like painting in Nigeria. You know what I mean? And yeah. Like, have a kid now. I'm just like, oh, oh you cool. want to go check out my spots? Like, you know, just like take pictures of her in front of like yeah. walls. <laughs> you had a kid. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. how old's your kid? She's like uh, about two months now. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, she's yeah. Yeah, she awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. What's that like? You not sleeping much? Oh, I sleep pretty well. I'm not- <laughs> <laughs> you sleep right through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, my girl hates me for it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, she's I'm like, sleep- can you change your <laughs> just <laughs> saw <song> logs? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that's but- what's. Uh, I haven't had a kid yet, but um, I'm terrified of losing the sleep. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah, I mean, says- the first couple of nights. Yeah, and then yeah. also like anxiety might make you lose sleep. Where you're just like, "Yo, you making a weird noise?" Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And just like, that's sit, a trip, you know what I mean? And just like I that, that kids, part's scary as hell. You know? Yeah. I saw this thing on uh, on Instagram. There's a woman uh, put her baby in the bed and rolled overnight and killed it. I've seen that? And then she did it again. <laughs> she did it twice. They're like, "Okay, something's fishy here." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, it, I mean, this is gonna sound messed up, but is she? Uh, how can I say it? Corpulent. I was gonna say, would she be able to talk about the fattest thing the fat- you did this week? Nah, right? she was skinny. Yeah, yeah, she was. Oh, yeah, so that, really? that's even more sus. Yeah. It's like, uh, wow. something fishier. Yeah, so she's yeah. not. She's not in our club. And no, no she's she's not. Not. damn, dude, that's crazy. Uh, she's yeah. not in our club. Like, damn, like two kids. Like, yeah, yeah, that's, just like, yeah and there's and nothing. Then, nothing's been brought up about. Now it? they're like, like hmm. uh, some fishy here. Like they're they're kind of tripping on it, right? They're gonna like. Yeah, the sad. first one they let it slide. Yeah, the first one's like that's ah, crazy. It's a free yeah, thing. when you think about that, <laughs> yeah, really, what we're talking yeah. about? <laughs> yeah, she didn't break a lamp. She like yeah. that's crazy, dude. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's, it's scary, man. I don't know. Mm. Fucking, fucking kids. Um, so what what's going on? Uh, what's going on with you, Cedar? What's going on in the graffiti world these days? Shit, man. Um. I just been out here. I've been doing a hell of run ups, shit like that. You know what I mean? That shit's hella fun. Fucking. What's a run up? Well, just like. You know what, you know what that is? You know, it, I, I do, but. I don't, I don't but know what yeah. a run up is. What it's is a little fakey, like a little fakey legal, you know? Oh, got you. Got yeah, you. So, right. Yeah. That's but like it. daytime? Like yeah, just daytime. Like, woo! Yeah, it's hella chill. Like for the most part, like people don't care. Or they'll come out and just be like, it looks better than what was there. You oh, know okay. what I mean? Uh, I got stopped yesterday by a. Uh, the green shirts, the dude in the on the fucking segways, and you know, the dude was just like, "Oh yeah, you know, like what are you doing?" And I'm just like, "Oh no," he didn't say, "What are you doing?" He was like on the radio, and he's like, "Yeah, they're tagging on the wall," and I'm like, "What you mean they're tagging on the wall, bro? I got permission." You know, and he's like, no, you don't. He's like, I know this building. I buffed this wall. He's like, you don't got permission. And I'm just like, oh, that's crazy. You know, like, you caught me. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he was cool. He was just like, get out of here, you know, or also call LAPD. And I'm like, oh, yeah, say less, you know? Yeah. And then what's the cops going to do? They're going to be like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the other time the cops drove by and fucking, um, I, you know, they drove down the street and I'm like, oh, did they see me? And I like, I go to the edge of the wall and I peek over to see like if they're going to make a U-turn. Yeah. And it's just like fucking bonfire in the middle of the street. Yeah. Like, shot a car. And, like, they got yeah. other stuff yeah, yeah, going like, oh, on, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, they got other stuff they're ignoring. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They're like. <laughs> There's like a there's like a level above a craziness. So like they're not even seeing. Yeah. Like do you know do you know anyone that's gotten arrested for graffiti in the past few years? Um no. I mean the hom- <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. It's that's wild, so right? Yeah. The homie got a card the other day. And I think a card like a scare card. Like a, it was like remember a, those remember scare yeah. cards? Yeah. yeah. I what was scare card. What's a scare card? Scare card back in the day was like if you got caught. Like I remember getting off the bus <laughs> a bunch of times and just hitting the side of the bus right a couple of times. I remember one in particular with I was with anger. We got off the bus. We were going to. I think we were going to Westwood. And we got off the seven. We were at Pico and Westwood. We got off, and this is a long time ago, dude. And the cop was right behind us. He saw the whole thing. There's no way we could have hit it. There's no way. And he's like, "What are you doing?" And we just said, "Oh, I think he said something like, oh, I wrote my girlfriend's name on the bus. Something, something yeah. stupid. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, oh, well, don't do that. That's what they said. <laughs> they said, as a matter of fact, come here. And they would give you this card. This is the best part. They would they would say, "What's your name?" You tell. 
whatever, yeah. whatever you want to say, you know what I mean? What's your phone number? Oh yeah, I'm going to give you my phone number. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, a, that, that's all it was. It was a card and they say, okay, we're going to, what, like, we're going to call your parents or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it was basically one of those. Yeah. So, oh, so they're doing scare <laughs> cards again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scare cards are Damn, back. I wish I had those. Dude. Just as effective. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're scared shitless. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the other, the other day, or not the other day, but like a while ago, I think I want to say like a month ago, I was in Oakland, right? And uh, the homie, I'm like keeping eyes on him, like he's like hitting a billboard. And the cop turns the corner, and uh, you know I'm just like, you know who are you? Like you're like get down, whatever. He gets down, and the cop stops like so. You know the side of the street. The cops on this side of the street. He's like, let's open a bar, whatever. And the cop stops there, and I'm just standing here like, oh damn, like you know, like what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And he shines his light on the billboard. You know, and I'm just like, fuck. You know, I can see the homie. You know what I mean? So I'm like, if I can see him, I'm like down the street. I'm like, I know he can see him. And he like makes a U turn, and he's just like, hey, yo, like. Don't hurt yourself coming down. You Holy know? shit! And no, I was like I don't want to file a report for that. And I, and that was it. And like drove off. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's like San Francisco in the late nineties when it, when they were doing that. They Dude, were pulling that place up got and being, destroyed. They were like pulling up and people painting, being like, "Nice work," you, you know, because all the art school kids were painting. Mm. Yeah. And they were just like didn't give a shit. Dude, isn't that weird today? Like, I, maybe people are gonna think I'm a dick for saying this, but isn't it weird that like it's it's not uncommon now for like if you meet somebody that like does graffiti right yeah but they went to art school first yeah and then they started writing yeah it's i've run into a couple of people like that it's a totally different I'm, it's I'm a thinking different. to myself like wait we left school yeah. to do this I dropped out of high school. <laughs> like, yeah like we would i dropped out of high school to write <laughs> yeah. entire semesters not days and weeks like whole semesters where it would say like uh attendance zero across yeah. the whole board yeah. like just so we can go to motor yeah you know yeah. <laughs> like, so you straight more, yeah. up dude like it, i think like it's like with like with social media and shit like that and then like yeah. graffiti also like becoming like more like you know commercial yeah i think like art schools kind of just started embracing it and it's just like here's some fucking dude i've heard they teach classes, classes yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah yeah like yeah. I, i've actually heard that where no. is that like cal arts or something yeah, like yeah, that probably, oh, yeah. yeah that makes sense <laughs> yeah dude like, like they're oh, just a throwy class <laughs> yeah by the time you graduate you just have like the perfect one liner and you know, imagine like the teachers are just like, yep, that's my student. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, He's all city. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on that bridge over there. Yeah. Seen it? That's <laughs> wild, dude. That's yeah. wild. Or also it's like uh, you know, they they uh I like I like when those kids those those kids who start doing graffiti like in, also they're starting when they're like twenty three dude right? that's wild they're dude, starting dude. when they're twenty you're like because when did you start when you were like 12, 13? Tw- I mean fifteen around. was like when I was getting and I dipped out for a minute I came back like, yeah you know, sixteen seventeen yeah like, I was like twelve or thirteen 14, years old 15, or something yeah. like that yeah but I, I was I was lucky because some of the older kids right in my neighborhood were doing it oh yeah and so like I saw them and and yeah you know like. You go from being a skater and then yeah. your skateboard instead of trying to learn new tricks becomes your transportation to yeah. meet up with your friends yeah and then it becomes your transportation to go to spots and then yeah. it's just like next thing you know you just leave it behind you're like jumping yeah. on buses and shit. again this is a long time ago. yeah i mean that's, that's how it started a crazy from, transition yeah, it, yeah especially like you know I'm, i grew up on the west side so i was like yeah you skate and then like Dogtown graphics, yeah, and then I I just see shit on the I just start drawing it, yeah, and then I'm, then I'm like, well, I might as well draw this tag I saw, and I'm drawing like Venice letters, all this shit. But the thing the thing I like about art school, the guys that come out of art school is like I, I saw another clip on Instagram of this kid in a train yard. And he's like fucking blubbering because he got stamped by like JA. And you see that? And he's like, why would he why would anyone do this? I'm no, like, he didn't. yeah, and I'm like, it's like yeah. the nicest, it's like yeah. the most like beautiful like video. Mm-hmm. It makes me feel so good. Yeah. Cause he's like all hurt. He's like, mm-hmm. why would anyone paint over me? I it took me so long. I'm like, you don't have any idea what's going on. <laughs> like you're entering into like a conversation that's been a not a, a yelling match that's been going on for fucking 50 years or so, yeah. you know, less than that. But let's say 20, 30 years, and like you're like coming in with your little fucking poodle fucking drawing, and like, you know, oh oh, you know, I, I have to that. express myself. This has to be a safe space. Like you're in a train yard, you're cut, you're surrounded by human what are you shit. About? This is illegal. Yeah, you're this illegal. You're, you're breaking the law, yeah. Oh, you're, you're doing a crime with other criminals around you, you yeah. want, and you want to be safe. Yeah, you know, but that's the oh, I gotta see that video. Yeah. Oh, it's so. Good. you see the second part to that? No. All right, so in the, at that video, right, everyone in the comments is like, you know, like clowning this dude. They're just like, oh my God, you know, like what a toy, this, this, and that. So then he goes back and he caps him. Oh. And he's like recording it, you know, and he's like got the tough music on there. You know no. what I mean? Yeah. Wait, he no. Caps, he caps, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, and then like everyone in the comments is like, oh shit. Like, you know, and I'm just like, y'all just bullied this kid into like 
Getting, like, is he getting the worst beef? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the the king of beef. Yeah, yeah. Like, like he'll he, never have anything right. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, he, <laughs> it's a wrap. Yeah, <laughs> the, the 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 guy that whole his whole job is having beef. He just goes straight to the top of the beef. Chair. <laughs> yeah. Remember when he came out here? <laughs> oh yeah, remember yeah. that? Yeah, motor yard just yeah. end to end. Yeah, didn't matter who yeah. it was. Yeah. I think a couple people got passes back then. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's the fucking heel man. He's a villain. He's the bad guy. It's like that's what he does. He's he's one of the best. He's like a uh, fucking uh, cat, cat, right? Like yeah, yeah. those guys are like, I respect the those villains because like they're fucking villains. Yeah, that's what they do. They're yeah. like it, they make the game what it is. Without those guys, and it's like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, yeah. you know, like yeah, yeah, you hate them for what they do, but it's like they're they're, they're doing their job just like <laughs> anyone else. Um, that shit's hilarious. Or that kid, or that other kid I saw. I saw a kid in New York like a year ago who got fucking. Bozo, bozo. <laughs> yeah, he got knocked upside the head, right? Yeah. He's like, he went there to like, he's trying to stop someone from capping him, and the guy socked him. He couldn't believe. He's like, I can't believe he put hands on like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so oh, mad. He's like, Sleeping. I'm done. I'm done in the New York graffiti scene. It's he said toxic. that on camera. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, toxic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he said it's toxic. He said it's toxic. Like, yeah, yeah. The whole you thing is toxic. Me. Yeah, this is what, what we're doing. <laughs> but that, like, I guess that's to the point, right? Like these guys are. You, you go get your education, yeah. and then you, you go backwards yeah. and you get into some grimy shit yeah. after you've already done something where you could probably do okay in life. Yeah. Now you want to play a game that's not a game. It's like yeah. it's like there's real people and real yeah. stuff going on, right? Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like of all people to like well, you're go doing over it. and cap. It's yeah. like, yeah. what? And you're doing Who it as wants? like an experiment, but you're like, yo, that's that dude's whole life. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, has been. Yeah. Like this, the, like. <laughs> he wakes up and like, this is it. That's yeah. all I'm like, that's what's on his mind. This like, is it. <laughs> I'm this dude. Like, you know, some of these dudes are pushing 40, like they're not fucking around. Yeah. I want to see that. Yeah, see yeah, that. it's hella good, it's good. That shit's amazing. <laughs> Fuck, dude. And then like, you know, I hate to bring it up to give him even more fame, but like, our boy Alec Monopoly. You fuck with that dude? You know that guy? Uh, I don't know him, but I've you seen, don't know, I, no, I've seen, seen his seen stuff. stuff. Like, we're mutual friends, I think. Really? Yeah. yeah. He he's like he's another one of these dudes who like I see on Instagram and he's like, I literally seen a video of him like probably in Ibiza, wearing a top hat with a mask, DJing while painting in the background. <laughs> and I'm watching, I was like, what is happening? What the fuck is going on? He's like painting, like He's like painting on top of like a uh, you know an Hermes bag you know Birkin bag or something and he's like he's DJ and he's got you know he's cut. I'm like you, why are you wearing a mask like it's there's no there's, there's no repercussions here like you're just living yeah. like this fantasy world right yeah. it's like it's not reality yeah, you know yeah. because and then you see him on like a private jet and you're like what I don't you know. he always covers right not anymore His face oh no not so I check up on him now and then see what he's doing oh, okay. like, oh, so like you, know him, you know him you no I don't know oh. I never met the dude oh, and, I, okay. and I shouldn't I shouldn't speak uncommonly about him. Maybe a fucking... <laughs> you know what's funny though? I think like when EDD when EDD was popping, yeah, every rider became like Alec Monopoly. Right. It was just like everyone started flexing, balling. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I'm in this city now. Like you know, yeah. <laughs> everyone's on a fucking graffiti vacation. Yeah. And shit. that's the other thing that's gonna happen is that that the EDD shit, right? Eventually they're gonna come around and be like, all right, well, yeah, time's up, guys. <laughs> Y'all had your fun. <laughs> yeah, you, you owe me eighty-seven thousand dollars for fucking this year. You know, dude, I've been hearing like people saying stuff like that. They're like, starting like, to pop oh, up. Man, I gotta come up with like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you thought they were just handing you money every month just because you're cool? Like, what? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. The, people like really didn't get it. The free like, money. I gotta pay taxes on it. Yes. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Did you not read? Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't even like fine print. It was yeah. like straight up, like you know. I mean, we're fucking Americans. Like we get free money. Let's and everyone's everybody's fucking scamming everything. Yeah. It's like there's gonna. It's a digital fucking thing. Like there's a, there's a trail. It's not just like a Absolutely. bag of cash. There's like there's not, a fucking like, direct trail yeah. right to your shit. Yeah. If you're stupid, yeah. and it's like right right in your name, and it's like you know, for the <laughs> dumb guys, and it's like yeah, man. There's 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 repercussions, man. It's like yeah. daddy, you know. It's also bad because. Because everyone was on allowance during COVID, nobody wants, still to this day, people don't want jobs. Like, I'm trying oh. to hire people, and people are like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, in my Dude, day, how many was, restaurants have you gone to that you may have frequented before, oh, and they died? can't staff it? Oh, yeah. No, they yeah, can't, yeah, they yeah. cannot yeah. staff it. Nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to yeah. work. Because two no years of free money, <laughs> yeah. get, people are getting more money than they were making in mid-level jobs. So they're yeah. like, and their brains are fucked now. Yeah. It's like, fuck that. What do you mean? I get... I get twelve hundred a week. Man. Yeah, like, yeah. Man, so it's crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, they fucked up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess they had to do it, but yeah, I don't know. This way, my mom always told me like nothing's free in America. 
Hell you know? no. Absolutely <laughs> true, man. Like, they'll never believe it. <laughs> nothing's free. And also, we're all just like, you know, there's a there's a ruling class who's just like really running the shit. And then we're all just quibbling over some bullshit. Like, yeah. at whatever level we're at, we're still just in this pit. Yeah. And like, there's a whole bunch of other people who are just like, you know, they're they're moving the shit around on their fucking mega yachts and shit. Like, I went I went to Antibes for a uh, for a vacation, and uh, I was on the, I was on the Riviera, and I'm like, we we rented like a little boat, and I'm out there, and I'm look, there's these yachts that are like people live on people have like cruise ship size yachts. That's crazy. And I'm looking at that, and I'm like, I'm never gonna be a part of this club. And any, I might make a little money one one day, but I'm never gonna yeah. ever be a part of that. And they're on some like, dude, they're. They're they're in they're in the ocean on a like they're making their own rules. They're probably fucking <laughs> fucking yeah. dolphins and killing babies and doing <laughs> yeah. all that shit. Like they do whatever yeah. the fuck they want. Like mm-hmm. you seen that one in Marina Del Rey? I think it's like some no. like football coaches like yacht or something like that. Oh really? It's like a huge. mega yacht? Yeah, it's like a fucking all black tinted windows. Like yeah, you know, it's just like huge like black fucking Death Star type shit. You know <laughs> shit. what I mean? But it's like, it's huge. It's like, yeah, like a cruise ship. Yeah, it's know? crazy. <laughs> like a whole bunch of people got really, really richer in COVID. Yeah. Oh, dude. In the past, like the yeah. rich got super rich. They just went to the fucking, to fucking space. Yeah. <laughs> you was over here like, oh yeah, fucking COVID and fucking Bezos is over here getting all these Amazon orders. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to space right now. Yeah, you like know? he's really, <laughs> like think of, like think about the reality. He's really going to space. Yeah. Like, I know we just got a SpaceX. No, the dude made a fucking rocket ship. Yeah, he yeah. decided to do that on his own. This isn't the government. Yeah. he's like, I'm gonna colonize Mars. Like, he's, yeah, he just decided to do it. It's, it's crazy. Wild, dude. A lot of things like it takes me a long time to process shit. Like, I know this is gonna sound really stupid to you guys, but the other day, I was just tripping on the fact that that Biggie, they shot Biggie. In the in front of the, I know this is stupid, but and we all know this. This is part of our fabric of our lives. But like, think about the world we live in. Like, think about how many rappers die in a year now, where it's nothing now. Yeah. Fools just die like every couple months, fucking dead. Dudes with careers and families dead. Like, and starting with Tupac and Biggie, there are others before and others after. But like, two of the biggest rappers in the world got killed. With no fucking nothing, there's yeah. no, like no no one ever gets processed for this shit, and we, it's just like normal, but it's in it's completely abnormal. Like if everyone in fucking rock and roll was was getting their heads cut off with swords, yeah. you know, because they would be, be like, Yo, what the fuck is going on? yeah, like That's Axel wild. Rose got his head it. cut off. Like mm-hmm. it no, is bizarre, yeah, and it's fully accepted because of the fucking you know whatever it is the structure and like what what it's like yeah. what we're fed you know like that's what's supposed to happen so like you know i don't know i trip on it because like we just I accept it like the same way we accept a fucking a mass shooting like, yeah oh another you know, one there could be a shooting tomorrow yeah. and then by by friday we're gonna be like well i don't know yeah like you well, know it's true. and then people so much shit's going on like people talk about like you're saying like they'll focus on that for that week yeah and then that week, next it's like monday that mm-hmm. and then next monday it's like what what's going on now yeah, yeah. What, what else oh like uh, everybody was all like upset about it and then like mm-hmm. they, they're not saying like ukraine like, oh dude. yeah save ukraine bro where <laughs> All that now. We're all They're like, still fighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're yeah. still fighting, bro. Yeah. This Putin's probably gonna nuke us, bro. We're not oh, yeah. us, but like, you know what I mean? Like he's trying to what they, I think he tried to send like three hundred. He's like, Oh yeah, we're gonna send three hundred K new people and then all these Russian citizens are trying to dip the country because they don't want to get drafted. So like, you know what I mean? Like what other option does he have? Oh, we're on the precipice of World War Three. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> like we're very close. And it's I, I think, you know, and I think we're just kinda like blindly like there's nothing any of us can do. We're not playing in that big game, right? But uh it it's is. weird. It's like it's like when we were kids, remember, like the Cold War, right? Like if you if you think back in the early eighties, remember like no nukes yeah. and all that shit? Yeah. We're right back there, dude. They tried to dismantle yeah. all the nukes. Yeah. We're but right now back, it's like, like it's but trippy. But we used to be dealing with governments, now we're dealing with people. Yeah. Like we're dealing with one dude who's just a gangster. Yeah. And who's like probably not going to want to lose. And he's also thin, like he's not going to want to lose face either. So like when he, you know, and we're, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's like the reality that we're in right now is a trip, man. It's like, and, yeah. and I don't, you know, we just got to keep fucking pushing and get some more extra EDD money. Keep balling. Yeah. I was waiting for the monkey pox, buddy. I was like, where's, monkey, <laughs> like, where's, the, where's my monkey pox check? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, the new wave. Yeah. Like, Another one? <laughs> I need that fucking body pimple money. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody cares about that anymore, I feel you like. You see too. pictures like, of that? Like, that, like, that yeah. came and went quick. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, it see, did. dude, they need more advertising. Yeah. That did yeah. not stick. Yeah, it did drop. Yeah. That nobody give a fuck. They're like, yeah, we lived through COVID. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys know anyone that actually got fucked up by COVID? I, I know some people. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not, and I'm not saying, I'm not putting it out there on some like, it's fake because I believe it's real. Yeah. Yes. And I got, you know, I did all the shit. Like, I'm not, I'm not tripping. But if I think about my life through that, like, I'm okay. Yeah. You know, Same. I think, I think a lot of people did get fucked up. Like, I know a couple people, I know a dude who got fucked up pretty bad, actually. But uh, do you guys know anyone that like it really ate shit with COVID? I, I know one person who did pass away. He got pneumonia. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I think see, they. See, but that's the thing. It's always something else. And they say it's COVID related and it might count as a casualty of. But then how much do we really. You know, yeah, I don't know. I got man. that shit like twice. Like, like two did times. you really? Yeah, yeah like I got it. I got it a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. But now it's like they just officially were like, it's over. Like yeah, we're, yeah. We're, it's, it's officially over. Yeah, what? But, I mean, it's been over for like five, <laughs> yeah. six, seven months. But I wonder if that happened with the plague, right? Like one day someone just came out and said, hear ye, hear ye, it's yeah. done. Hear ye, hear ye. Oh, like, you know what I mean? Like, just ringing a bell? Yeah. No, no more of those We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. It's wild. But yeah, See, they did say that. They're saying it's, yeah, it's, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. Because, you know, every Biden wants to be the one to say it, so he looks like it's 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 up, you know. He, yeah, he did his it. Watch, yeah. it I stopped the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> 2024 is going to be insane. Oh, 2023 man. or whatever. Yeah. It's going to be in fucking insane. Yeah. 24, man, isn't I it? Can't, I can't wait for it. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? They're going to be doing all the fucking campaigning and all that bullshit. You yeah. Know? Yeah. It's going to be crazy. I don't be fucking. It's full man. WWF, man. That's, yeah. that's that's the end of the, what. <laughs> the reason why we're all going to fucking, we're all going to die is because y'all motherfuckers kept watching wrestling. Yeah. If you guys would have stopped when you were fucking 12, we wouldn't be here anymore. You know? But because America kept watching wrestling, now we're fucked. You know? Now we're in the WWF for real. And these motherfuckers are just like making fun of each other. It's like, And The know. Rock might be president. Yeah, fuck it. I'll take The Rock. Let's get The Rock in there. It's you know? wild. Did you guys see that movie Idiocracy? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. We're there. This is worse. Mm -hmm. This is, We're there. I'd rather it's have like Camacho. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. What <laughs> fucking Mountain Dew water and shit. Like, it's water, worse. watering plants yeah. with energy it drinks. It's like Coca Cola owns like, how, like hella water companies. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Basically, already got Coca Cola. Well, it's worse water. in Jackson. They, 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 you turn on the faucets and fucking, it was it Jacksonville, Mississippi, where you, you turn on the faucets on and just brown dirt, like, yeah. toxic waste comes out. And, like, they're just like, and it's only in the black neighborhood. Oh, and the white Michigan neighborhood. Michigan that happened too. Yeah, yeah I remember. Michigan. Yeah. And they're just like, and they get all the funds in, they get all the funds for the city and they divert it. Like they'll get like a hundred million dollars and they fucking, they yeah. all, they scam. Yeah. They they're like fucking Brett scamming. Favre or something yeah, like that. Brett Favre is like, <laughs> I need a new jungle gym for my fucking, like instead of fixing the water lines, they're yeah. like, Brett Favre needs a new helicopter. It's like, what the fuck? It's so, yeah, it's insane. It's so corrupt. It's so corrupt, man. We need to be in a, in a we need to establish a utopia, okay, where there's just, uh, only graffiti now. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. What are you gonna do? We just kind of keep it pushing, you know, and uh, try to like, you know, I'm like, why am I even trying to uh, diet when I'm just gonna fucking, you know, I'm about to get burnt in fucking five months, you know, I'm about to get hit by a nuke or something. Um, Jacksonville, right? It was Jacksonville. Yeah, that E. Coli. E. Coli, pretty Goddamn. cool. Goddamn. That's what that's out there now. So, Cedar, Sweet. what are you doing? You're working. You're doing some shit with Andrew. You're doing Channel Five stuff. What's yeah, going yeah, on? man. Let's we're doing Channel that. Five shit. Um, I'm leaving this weekend. We're gonna go film another video in the Bay, and then uh, the tour. The tour is coming up. Oh, you're doing a tour? Yeah, yeah. So the tour. I'm not exactly sure what video is going. I think it's like it's probably several different videos. I think it might be. I don't know if he's premiering the new one, the one that A24 produced. Oh yeah. But, the uh, the election thing. Yeah, he was yeah. there, right? Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. crazy. I seen I seen a couple clips from that, and that yeah. was uh, that was gonna be sick. Yeah, that was it's hell funny because it's like it's real unbiased. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, you see all the fucking shitheads from like both sides, like yeah. you know? Yeah. So well, yeah, his style is so funny. He just puts a suit on, and goes. <laughs> and he just lets people play themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. here you go. Do it. And they just go, oh, you know. Yeah, fucking... it's sick. The people, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like the people with the most to say, like, really just have, nothing, like, you know what I mean? Nothing to say. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's just coming up. I think we're going to be, like, gone for, like, most of November and December. And you, know? you get, do you guys get, is it on the road? Do you get an RV or do you fly? What do you do? Yeah, RV. You get in the RV. Yeah, yeah. And then he has you do interviews on the street. Yeah, so I'm be interviewing fools in the crowd. You know what I mean? Like, sort of showing up. You know what I mean? Oh, so he's doing a, li a live show? Like, it's live. A yeah. stage show. Yeah, it's a stage show. What does he do for a stage show? Um, I think it's like, it's kind of just like a little QA. Oh, and then, okay. like, like, I saw the, the Canada one. He brought out the dude, Will Blunderfield. 
I don't know if you're uh, familiar with bro. He's the no. one that does the um, the the sword strength and sword. You oh, know what I mean? oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same, he gets right. bonus with his homies. Right, right. <laughs> yep, yep. You know, so like, yeah, and then like you know, it's like other like live acts, like magicians and musicians. Things like that. So it's people from the Channel Five universe. Are you Channel familiar? Five universe oh. in person. You're not familiar with Channel Five, dude. I'm not hip to. You're not. Anyways. You're not tapped into any of this shit. Huh? Uh-uh. I want to see all <laughs> of it. What are you? When I leave what here. are you consuming? You just listen to old fucking. What do you? What yeah. do you listen to when you paint? Oh, uh, dude, records all over the, like everything from like old punk to like Barrel House piano. What the like fuck is Barrel old, House piano? Like, yeah. like saloon music. <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. I have a collection of saloon music. Dude. Holy shit! It's Look it up. It's called I, dude. There's this dude. <laughs> Knuckles, <laughs> hey, they have the best names ever. My Holy favorite shit. is Knuckles O'Toole. He's a gangster, bro. It's really good. <laughs> that's fucking. Funny. I, I know they recorded that. It's so good, dude. <laughs> dude that's crazy. It's really good. But yeah, but all over. You know, like yeah. I don't own a television. You, you know? don't. No. Oh. Mm. So you don't watch movies or none of that. I will watch films on like like a laptop. Right. You know, like I like I do have like the Netflix and all that stuff, but like right. I don't have a TV where I'll come home and like just turn Put that it on, shit on and like sit down. Yeah, I watched enough when I was a kid. You know, like you're over it, latchkey kid. Yeah, you know, like I, you know, right? I mean, yeah, like I just don't want to. Unfortunately, but, I never kicked the habit, so I'm like <laughs> I'm working while watching, like while like I'll work on the computer and then I'm watching something always. So There's always yeah. something playing. I have something mm-hmm. in the background, but usually you know music. Music, for the most yeah. Part. I have a whole movie on all the time, or I watch a whole <laughs> season or something. Like mm. I watch a lot of like Brazilian shows. Oh really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Netflix. Like yeah. like the Brazilian like uh, narr like crime, crime yeah like they got like city of God guns. type stuff yeah yeah sci fi they got like Brazilian sci fi shit no shit yeah yeah it was like what three percent or no like Brazilian sci fi I'm not up on that <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, crazy yeah. This yeah. I love oh no that's like my algorithm on Netflix I guess Damn. you know <laughs> really it's like yeah that's like Indian movie and is it in Portuguese like is it <laughs> is, is it is Portuguese it dubbed? but no nah, but they got it's dubbed oh, okay yeah from the most part yeah. Did you watch that one, the the Indian movie that was out a few months ago? Yeah. Yeah, that shit was sick as fuck. I, I wasn't paying attention enough. I started watching it and I was like, you know, you gotta be in the you gotta be quick like have you seen the trailer for this? No. Movie? It's like they I do watch foreign films though. Oh I man. watch for, a lot of foreign films. It's like they they basically were like, you can do whatever you want with special effects in this movie. And it's <laughs> yeah. like right? It's like whatever the fuck you can imagine. They it's just, like three hours long, I think. Yeah. Of just like the most intense, you know, <laughs> but it's like, like well done or just or like Sharknado. No, it's not Sharknado. It's oh, okay. well done, but it's it's like I don't know. I can't. I mean, I can't tell if it's like you know the style of Indian filmmaking is a little campy. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a little goofy, but it's yeah. not. It's yeah. like kind of the way they do mm-hmm. things. But I think the VFX are legit. I mean, I didn't get fully like I got to the part where the the woman is getting kidnapped from the village. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's like it's like five movies in one. What like, is it called? Crazy. R-R-R. 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 Okay. It's just like so many different things happen. You're like, what the fuck is you know, going to happen next? So, yeah. Did know. you finish it? You I watched finished whole... it. I watched the whole thing. And you liked it? I liked it. The yeah. last like fight scene, like little battle arena where they're like in the jungle. Insane. Oh, like shit. dude on a motorcycle, one dude on a horse. And they're like shooting and gunning and there's a tiger that comes out of nowhere. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that sounds so good. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, damn. It's out of control. <laughs> that sounds good, dude. They should have never let the Indian people get special effects. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so <laughs> they're, right. they're going over the top. <laughs> tigers everywhere. The guy's like nine tigers on leashes. Yeah, yeah. In the air. I forgot about that part. Yeah, he's like holding a tiger down. Yeah. What? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, what is just the awkward. whole movie's in slow motion. They're just like fucking flying through the air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking insane. I got I gotta give it a good watch though. I don't know. Um, watch it. And what about you? You just you just painting, painting, doing graphics. Uh, yeah, focusing on my band. Yeah, what's and, your band uh, called? Psychotic Youth. Psychotic Youth. Yeah, punk band, obviously. It's it's weird. Yeah, it, originally it was. Uh, it's from the West Side, like Venice area. Um, oh, okay. Jason Brown is a singer. Okay. And uh, he's he's the only uh, at this time like the only uh, original member. Right. But now it's more like I would say it's punk, kind of like thrash. Thrash. metal-ish like all over the place but we have a, we have a big show coming up and you guys dip a, into a little couple saloon jams in the interlude <laughs> no but i want Yo, to hey you guys check this out hey i swear just if you're working on something yeah just 
even just find it and just yeah, put yeah, I'll it, check on it out. and just and but don't think about it much you're gonna laugh at first oh no i'm gonna laugh you're gonna laugh for, <laughs> yeah. i'm telling you 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 will laugh because you'll be like this dude's a fool but when you start really listening to it yeah and then it's just in the background yeah you could really fall it's like it's really good to work to the fucking the, the worst part though is it just all of a sudden there's a beer in my hand i'm just like <laughs> no, oh no yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no we don't want to do that <laughs> A yeah. derby hat, it's like, yeah. a derby and a monocle. Like, hello, chap. <laughs> All my designs are in steampunk and shit. <laughs> no, but it's good, dude. That and banjo music. I listen to banjo music, not bluegrass, like old old, old banjo, banjo music. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I listen to everything, dude. Like I all over. The, it depends what I'm working on, you know. I was in a fucking smoothie shop a few years ago and this Irish music came on yeah. and it was like some super old school Irish like folk shit yeah. and it fucking slapped. I never figured out what it was, but it was intense. It was just on some just like, you know, every once in a while they catch you on Instagram with one of them fucking pirate songs. And yeah. You're like, it's kind of dope. And you're like, <laughs> then it gets blown out. But like for a minute, you're like, all right. Yeah. It's, like, like, it's got like a knocking beat. It's like once was a da 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 like, you know. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. How are we doing on time? Good. Yeah? Anything you guys want to plug? Shit. Nah, not I can think of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. I got a show coming up. Like, yeah, like, plug that shit. Can yeah. I, is that corny? If nah, I nah, man. Mm -hmm. Run it. Do whatever you want. Not my band. We have a record release show coming oh, okay. up at the Whiskey. It's oh, okay. uh, October. You sure it's not corny if I do that? No, hell no. That's what you're supposed to do. Watch like at the end. You guys are like, damn, he really did it. Yo, yeah. No, yeah. I did it. He really no. did it. No. Uh, what a fool. October 21st at the Whiskey. We're doing our record release. It's, it, it, it's going to be fun, man. Psychotic Youth, for. October yeah. 21st at the Whiskey. Yep. That's it's right. It's going to be fun. And then I got a show with uh, with Rob and oh, okay. Olsen. Okay. Skinhead Rob and, and Olsen. Oh, uh, no way. Brooklyn Projects. Oh, okay. October oh. 13th. Okay. It's so all coming up, dude. It's all shout out to Skinhead up. Rob. We yeah, tried to, we tried to get up. you in here. Cameo. Yeah, make the mad cameo. <laughs> Face fourteen blunts, just sitting here, looking at the camera. Oh shit! I get that free contact high. No, good. Uh, um, yeah, man. What about you? Uh, you got anything, Cedar? Yeah, I guess uh, the Channel Five tour. Yeah, they just added uh, new cities and uh, new dates and bigger venues. So i get to hop on that what's the weirdest thing that's happening when you're out there interviewing people in the street oh man uh daytona was for sure like the fucking the weirdest one and that was just kind of like um niggas just like was not feeling me like it's, <laughs> yeah they were just like because it's like you know what i mean like daytona is just like all outlaws and like oh, all yeah. the other people because i'm in the campground type oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so i'm over here and i'm like the like the only black dude and i'm like wearing a ski mask holy yeah shit. and it's like yo yo i remember that <laughs> yeah. i thought that was crazy yeah <laughs> they were I'm like, like they're about to drag you behind their bike man yeah one dude was talking about blm he's like what's up with this dude from blm over here you know and i was like what he's he not from new york he's like this dude from new york from blm and i'm like what you know and this other dude was just like flicking me off like from behind the camera you know he's just like flicking me off and like staring me down and i'm like what's up bro like you know are we good you know, he's just like, holy yeah, shit. Like, Fuck you. Why you got that mask on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, that's what's bothering you. I mean, they, they got to assume that you, you're like, you know, you, you got dynamite strapped to your body because you're like the only black dude in Daytona during yeah. bike week. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's just fucking redneck central. <laughs> like, this is it. This is it. Y'all ready, guys? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm like standing we in front of a booth that like only sells <laughs> Confederate flags. And like, <laughs> Fuck. yeah, no, that's for sure. Like, the, 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 some of the weirdest shit. Oh, the dude, um, the old man that was in oil wrestling, saying that he came in his pants, was also pretty funny. That's tight. Yeah, yeah, that was that. That was like a highlight. What you he know? he was oil wrestling with the girl. And yeah, with a girl in like in a bikini. It was like a bikini wrestling in oil, and like he like it's like homie like paid money for him to like get in there. And uh, I always man, you know what? Shout out to premature ejaculators because I wish I could just catch a nut that easy. Like, <laughs> I wish I could roll up. I wish I could roll up against someone and just bust a gun. And I'd be like, fuck, fuck everything. You. That's Thank how I'm gonna live my life. <laughs> let me just yeah. let me just shimmy up to someone and just right. go, whoa. Save Keep a lot of time and money. Yeah, you know? save a lot of time, a lot of confusion. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. <laughs> good night. Oh, how old was he? Uh, he was hella old. He looked like, 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 like an old school. Like, a new like old school. school. He really? looked exactly like the dude. No, and they were calling dude. him blue. Yeah, they're calling him blue. And I'm like, oh, okay. y'all gonna kill this old man? Because they were like, the girl was not even taking it easy on him. She was just like, wow. Wow, I'm just like tossing him around <laughs> until he like tapped out. You know? Holy shit. Oh, fuck, I love to see that. 
Wow, wild times, man. man. I was always afraid of, uh, when I was young, I never did that cross-country trip because I was always afraid of like, what if I go to some small fucking town and it's like, a, yeah. what do they call that? A, a sundown town? Yeah, you know yeah, about sundown that town. Yeah, 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 what yeah, if yeah. I end up in a sundown town in my car? I had all this fucking neurotic shit. <laughs> but shit, you just wanted the fucking, you went into the belly of the beast, man. I, I got nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 like, I like Daytona, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I want to kick it there for a long time. You know, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but like the visit, maybe like I was like, like, like on the strip was like a completely different vibe. You know yeah. what I mean? On the strip is like all the fools with like the fucking like neons and the rims on their bikes and shit oh, like okay. that. So it was like hell turned up. You know? Oh yeah, it was just that that little segment of the bike week people. Yeah, yeah, the little campground. Was like, right. Oh, oh, on the strip is like spring breakers and shit. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So dude, uh, so dude was I was talking to this dude. He was a a stunt rider, right? So he does like the whole wall thing. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just like, yo, you want to come inside the fucking thing and, and like interview me? And I'm just like, yeah, sure, you know. And um, I'm like looking at his tattoo, like, oh, what's your favorite tattoo? And he's like, oh, this Edward Co tattoo. And I'm just like, all right, cool. And I'm like, I have no clue who the fuck Edward Co is. I get back to the hotel and I Google him. Oh, Ed Allen Co. Is that the guy? No, Ed no. Allen Co. No, 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 no. David Allen Co. David Allen Co. Is that is that what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. David, David Allen Co. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, country, so I Google, country, I Google, country, yeah. yeah. And the Some wild like, bangers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's just like crazy. And I was just like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like subtle. It's like if you know, you know, and then you look at yeah, it. Yeah. Oh fuck, man. <laughs> oh, that's the vibe y'all are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, you're yeah. wild for that. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, uh, good shit. We really got it in, and that was a long one. Uh, that was like an hour 20, huh? Sick. That was sick. That was a All really right. good show. That was fun, dude. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Hey, can I tell up. you something real quick? Yeah, yeah. When, when you sent me that text, yeah. If you, you, I think you said, like, pull up to the pod tomorrow, right? Yeah. I thought you misspelled, and it was supposed to be pad. So yeah. originally, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll roll through. Like, oh. remember I said, come by the studio, <laughs> and then I realized oh, later, oh. like, Oh, 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 you're like pod. <laughs> like, oh, shit, dude. Just come over story. I mean, I'm cool with it, but you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. at first, I was like, oh, dude, like, oh, you got Shanghai. You thought you just come through chill. Oh, uh, that's hella funny. Just come through, like, what's going on? Oh, There's a whole setup. Yeah. Three cameras. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool, man. Thank you for having me. No, that was me sick. Too, it was man. great. I love talking about this shit. Oh, yeah. You guys, you guys are good. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yes. 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 My boy. Oh, shit. Thank you. Good shit. All right. There it is. Powerful Truth Angels, episode 4086. Graffiti Seminar.